Today's Ask Reddit post. What's a stupid question that someone legitimately asked you? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. How long have you been twins? We were womb mates. Oh my god. They were womb mates. I was showing a friend a telescope and pointing out all the constellations and planets I knew. And he legitimately asked me where's Earth? If penguins need water to survive, doesn't that mean they're fish? If humans need water to survive, doesn't that mean they're fish? A phylogeneticist will read this and be like, well, technically yes to both. Can you turn him so we don't see the scratch on his cheek? Asked of me as we were reviewing the portrait photography of her son. No ma'am. It's a picture. You should have asked this while we were in the camera room. Dude. I came here to post a similar story. I'm a photographer for a cookie brand and I legit had someone in marketing ask if I could rotate the cookie in the image so they could see the other side of it. Yes. I can totally do that if you bring it in and I take more photos. Someone asked me to repeat the pronunciation of my last name and followed it up with, are you sure? Someone has told me I pronounce my own name wrong. If there's a deep end and a shallow end, how come the water is flat on top? The gene pool has a deep end and a shallow end. They are clearly drowning in the kiddie pool. How did they train all the dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park movies? The lawyer had a stake in his shirt pocket. Used to be a white water raft guide. No end of dumb questions. One was do the rocks in the river go all the way to the bottom? No. They are those special floating rocks WTF. Also. Do we get out where we started? Implying the river goes in a circle. Like an amusement park ride. When I was 11. I went canoeing in a river with a friend. After many. Many hours we approached a waterfall and panicked. And stopped at some lady's dock. She called my friend's mom to come get us. When asked why the heck we kept going for so many hours. I said, I thought rivers went in circles. And we'd end up back where we started. Doc. My mother had dementia and the social worker asked me what relation are you to your mother? Is it possible that the social worker was the one with dementia? Plot twist. Her mother was the social worker. I was selling a party tent 20 foot x 20 feet. Some rando on marketplace asked me if it would fit in their backyard. Lol I don't know. Never been to your backyard maybe measure if you have a 20 foot x 20 foot space. Another time I was selling a black dress also on marketplace and some woman asked me if it would meet the dress code for her new waitress's job at Chili's. How da duck I'm supposed to know that. Lady. Dress code for her new waitress's job at Chili's. The answer is, yes. And I would also like to point out the no refunds policy. Is that your real skin? I think she meant to ask if I'd had cosmetic work done. But I was quite alarmed. No. No. It's not. It's a backup skin that I carved out of a turnip. I worked at Yellowstone National Park in the early 2010s and one of the tourists, a French lady, came up and asked me when the animals were going to be brought out for people to see. During the time I worked for Zantera, a guest left a remark like that on a comment card. I forget the exact wording, but it involved training the bears better. A lot of us thought it was supposed to be a joke, but with so many stupid question and comments, it was hard to tell. I'm lactose intolerant, so you can't eat eggs. Well I can't actually but that's because I'm also allergic to eggs. I absolutely do not understand why people automatically think eggs are dairy? Exclamation mark. Question mark. Exclamation mark. Question mark. Exclamation mark. Question mark. Exclamation mark. Like. Um. No. Where did you get that idea? I'll raise you one. I'm allergic to dairy and eggs. Every so often I'll tell people this and get this response. Soy I can't have gluten. Occasionally I also get its sister response. I'll ask if a food has got egg or dairy in it and get its gluten free. It's like, that's great, but that's not what I asked. 
my brother-in-law's girlfriend was amazed that I had two brothers and no sisters and asked me how that is possible because she thought that humans gave birth in a boy slash girl slash boy slash girl sequence and couldn't wrap her mind around how someone could give birth to three boys and no girls. I'm not convinced that she is not some alien trying to pass off as a human and failing miserably. When I was little I thought you got to choose the gender of your baby. I was at Niagara Falls with my British sister-in-law. We were looking at the section of the river right where the water goes over the falls. She asked me is the water very toxic? Then, I replied, no, the Great Lakes is where southern Ontario gets its drinking water. Why would you think it's toxic? She replied, well, everyone who falls in the river here dies. I had to explain that they died because they went over the falls. This had never occurred to her. I mean it's got to be toxic with all the bodies of people falling in them. What do you do for a living? It was at a restaurant. I was their server. I work with mentally challenged adults. How do you say bon voyage in French? This reminds me of the Newsweek article claiming there is no word for entrepreneur in French. Hey, what's the French word for esme? I'm blind. Somebody asked me how I walk. Dogsled minus the sled. Dogsled minus the s in some cases. If my vagina slit is horizontal causation, that bit of misinformation is so old that in the 1850s a Chinese woman supported herself by letting men look at her vulva for 25 cents a head. Added, she lived and worked in San Francisco. Is there internet in Africa? Of course there is. How in the hell do you think that Nigerian prince contacted me? Bold of you to assume these people know that Nigeria is in Africa. Madagascar from the movie is a real place. It was a hit movie. DreamWorks had to capitalize on the hype by making a theme park of it. I was on the phone with an American based hotel chain looking to book a hotel in Seattle. The agent wasn't familiar with that location, so I shared that it was in Korea, Kansas. No, the country Korea. Silence while TYPING asterisk North or South Korea. I refrained from pointing out the likelihood of an American chain having a location in North Korea. Me, too. I tell people I lived in Korea and someone always asks North or South. Like if it was North I probably wouldn't be here talking to you. At my old job a couple years ago, tourists from New York asked if they had to change their currency to buy things in here in Hawaii. Next question. What's the rate of green back to seashells? My kid once saw a dam on TV and asked, is that Notre Dame? Had her not really stupid because she was just a little kid but it still makes me laugh to this day, so I thought I'd share. At least she'd heard of Notre Dame. My mom to me, when I was 16, why do you want me to buy you tampons if you don't have a hole? She believed that girls did not have holes vaginas until you had intercourse. She thought that penises created vaginal canals when your virginity was lost. She thought that by me putting tampons in the cart that I was admitting to not being a virgin. Wow. That is very concerning. Like, when did your mom figure out how her own body worked? Someone asked if my kids, then aged 3 and 6, were twins. Yes, it was an extraordinarily long labor. I have a conjoined toe. The normal stupid question is, does that make you swim faster? They are conjoined, not webbed. The stupid aversion got asked when I was staying in a trailer park my dad lived in. One of the girls saw my foot and asked did you ever try just pouring hot water on it? What was the hot water going to do? Melt the toes apart? Dissolve the glue? You think Forrest Gump is still alive? The person who asked this thought Forrest Gump was a real person. And his proof for his existence was he played for Alabama and met the president. When the special effects are too good. I was planning a vendor event and I had a sales rep call me and say the flyer says an 8 foot table will be provided. Is that per vendor or are they all sharing one? 
if I would take out another slash more loans from my mortgage servicer, literally the day if, and for 2 to 3 days, after I paid off my mortgage. Not having any loans left to pay off was kind of the entire point. My business partner got this one. What are you studying for? The bar exam. Cool. Bartending sounds fun. Why are the road signs in Germany and German? And where the hell is Ausfurt? Exclamation mark. It's the biggest city in Germany. Every autobahn has exits for it it seems. I work in a restaurant. So I get dumb questions all the time. A few from customers. Is there cheese on a cheeseburger? Do you sell batteries? Those numbers on the menu. Is that the price? Customer. How many cookies can I get with this gift card? Me. That depends how much money is on it. Customer. Okay. Well how many muffins can I get with it? At McDonald's with my brother. He asked me how. Do you ask for large fries? Small fries please. But make them triple. I'm a cook at a bar. Someone while reading our food menu said. French toast. Is that some kind of beer flavor? Let's all raise our glasses. To the French. Someone asked me why medium blizzards cost more than the small blizzards when I worked at EQ one time. Fast food is a gold mine for these. When I worked at KFC the most frequent question was how many pieces are in an 8 piece meal? Seriously. More than once. Often daily. How can women pee with a tampon in? With how little intercourse said there is in a lot of countries. I think this question was more ignorance than stupidity. Way back when I was a kid I missed intercourse said because I was sick that week. But I still knew women pee out of their butt. If the, very obviously, boy slash girl twins I was caring for were identical. It happened several times. I'd be tempted to troll and say something like, no, he's an Aries and she's a Taurus. From a scientific perspective, they are probably about 50% identical. Give or take an ovum. I used to get stopped in stores pretty frequently with my kids, who were ages 3 and infant, and asked are they twins? Some drunk white girl on a train asked my friend where he was from. He said Nigeria. She asks him, so how do you come here? Do they have planes in Africa? Lol. Gotta give her credit for at least knowing that Nigeria is in Africa. When I was in 6th grade we had to do a country project and I picked South Africa. My teacher told it wasn't a country and that I needed to pick a country. My teacher said this. Is it true you all live in igloos? Asked by someone from the deep south when I worked. Help desk for IBM in Canada. Dead serious. Someone in New York. State. Asked me this. Like. Canada is 2 hours north of here. And you think it's cold enough for us to have igloos in the summer? This happened to me. To. Someone in Watertown. New York. I was living in Kingston. On at the time. 30 miles slash 48 kilometers from the Canadian border. Even closer as the crow flies. It wasn't a question. But a statement. That a well educated friend made. She said. I don't believe in dinosaurs. I replied. How do you explain all the dinosaur bones they found? She couldn't answer. My sister in law's answer to this is a devil put them there. Apparently to somehow trick Christians. She said this completely seriously. What do Jewish people do? In response to me saying that Chinese food places are closed on Thanksgiving. You should have said. That's when we celebrate Christmas. I'd love to hear the person tell friends what Jewish people do on Thanksgiving Day. I once met an American who thought the further you travel north, the higher you go in altitude. He asked me something about what it's like driving uphill all the way to Canada. I used to tell my kids this when they were young. We'd go camping in Maine every summer, and it seemed like driving home was quicker. I said that's because it's all downhill. We live in Massachusetts. I was at Walmart. A worker, young kid, asked about my hat. I told her I have cancer, and the chemo caused me to lose my hair. She looked at me square in the eye and said did you survive? It took everything in my power not to say no, 
I didn't. I'm actually dead. I'm a ghost. Yes. But I no longer appear in mirrors. If evolution is real, why aren't there cave paintings depicting it? He also asked. If evolution is true, when did humans lose their ability to speak to apes? Both questions were 100% asked in earnest. I've gotten if evolution is real. How can there still be monkeys and apes? And they always think that's a mic drop moment for them. What's the number to 911? Quick. Somebody call XEI. That joke went over my head four years as a kid. Too good. Do chinsillas poop? My schoolmate at a university wanted one as a pet because it's cute. She was 20 years old at the time. After she learned that chinchillas do indeed poop, she no longer wanted one. But do women poop? The first time I met my close college roommate's husband was at their wedding reception. Unfortunately, she lives in Ohio. I live in Texas. Upon introduction, I said hey, nice to finally meet you. He replied, why are you in a wheelchair? It made for an extremely awkward weekend. Edit to add, I forgot the part where he also said it was the first time he'd ever met someone in a wheelchair. I've heard plenty of what's wrong with you, or well you've been in the wars haven't you in wheelchair or on crutches. But this takes the cake. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.